The new promo is here and the versus ice is looking really, really good lads. Today we're going to be going over both of these objectives. Obviously in this video we're going to focus on Tagliafico, um, but make sure you don't miss it. Next video we'll have a look over these Everton objectives. But today we'll be focusing on these Tagliafico objectives, one of the most popular series on my channel. If you guys don't know what the series is, essentially we go over all of these objectives. I give you guys my tips and tricks and the most anticipated part, I build a team that you guys can use to get him done for roughly 15 to 25,000 coins. Now remember the team, it's not going to be the most crazy team, but the, the whole point of the team is to suit those of a more casual community, um, and it's just going to be a team to simply, you know, that's relatively cheap, right? 15, 20,000 coins, a cheap meta team that you can use to get it done. Without further ado, boys, let's get into it as well. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to the big 10,000 subscribers every single day. Starting off, boys, we've got score 15 goals in the live foot friendly re renowned re renowned rivals I i've never heard of that word before but renowned rivals with a squ full squad of players from argentina assist free crosses in the live foot friendlies uh, in live foot friendly with a full squad of players from argentina score in eight separate matches in a live foot friendly and win four matches so essentially you've got to win four matches score in eight separate matches so it looks like it's going to take eight separate matches to complete and it's genuinely just down to using a full argentinian uh, team now if you guys want to have a look at his objective card, you obviously can see the two cards. Um, you, you have an option between the, the ice and the fire one, right? So the fire one has got minus five dribbling compared to the ice, but it's got plus three defending. So the ice one looks better defensively uh, and, and dribbling wise, but the defensive, no, no, sorry, no, he, he looks better dribbling wise and worse defensive wise, but the fire one looks better defensive wise and worse dribbling wise. Now, I'm not too sure, I, I know he's not five star, no five star boost, it looks like I've just given boosts in different specific areas, which I don't mind from EA to be honest. He looks like a really solid card. If you were to chuck like a shadow on him, he goes to a 92 rated centre back. If I had to choose which one I reckon is best, I'd probably choose I'd probably choose the ice one to be honest. I feel like that dribbling boost is relatively important, but at the end of the day, it's all just down to perspective and what you want for your team. Nonetheless, boys, I'll show you guys the game mode, and then obviously we'll get into the tips and tricks and the uh, what's it called and the squad builder. Now, why am I going to SBCs? Where is it? You go to play Play, you go under friendlies and you go to play online and you'll see it um, but honestly man I think this is a very 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 solid objective there's also an Everton one which I'm yet to look at here, here we go renowned rivals so countries at most one um, that does include the bench as well so you're gonna need a full Argentinian bench and you can have at most one lone player let's get into the squad builder lads right now lads this is a team we have gone for remember the only requirement is you need a full team of Argentinians and I'm, I'm assuming that classifies the bench as well now we have gone for a 4-4-2 formation and his team is roughly coming in at around 15 to 20,000 coins. I will assume probably try buy this as early as possible and then sell on when you're completed because prices will only go up as more and more people are looking to complete these Tagliafico objectives. Starting off at left striker, I'm pretty sure he's in freeze himself. Um, he might be in next week, he might be in this week, I'm not too sure, so he might go up a little bit, but by far he will carry you. Um, Angel Correa, 5 foot 7 high, medium with 4 star, 4 star, absolutely cracked at the beginning of the game. So much people will use using him and he'll do the job perfectly paired on the right not as crazy but we have gone for Avila 5 foot 8 he is left footed he's got 86 balance and a 5 star weak foot I feel like that 5 star weak foot is what just edged me to you know choose him over the other Argentinian strikers left mid we've actually gone for a Libertorius card which if you're trying to find this card there's no Libertorius filter and um, we've actually used a few Libertorius cards so if you're trying to find a Libertorius card what you want to do is send it to Argentina and you have to go down to leagues and go to the Libertorius league right because there's no Libertorius card design if you will like we, when you choose from here there's no Libertorius card option um so you yeah, know we have gone for Chan Chan Clay I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Ch Chan Clay yeah so I mean absolutely nuts I remember he got like a Libertorius team of a group stage a couple FIFAs ago he was really good left center mid we've gone for Pereira another card that's actually in the freeze team uh but really well rounded none but less paired up with DePaul who actually if you switch these two around Cap Gun Tom has entered the chat we get a hyperlink between these two here right mid we have gone for another Libertorius card by the name of Salvio five star skill moves of a 
another four-star week for basically just a budget uh, Lionel Messi. Left back, we've gone for Casco, another Libertorius card. Five-star week for 83 agility, solid defending, solid physical, and solid pace. We'll definitely get the job done. For the two centre-backs, we've gone for Christian Romero, and we have gone for Lissandro Martinez for Ajax. Right back, Montiel, and in net, we have gone for Ruli. The keeper doesn't really matter, but I've just gone with Ruli because he's got the saves of feet trait, and that is very, very OP. Now, usually, I would get into the tips now, and I'll say tip number one, use some good players on the bench, but you need a full Argentinian team. Check your club. You may have some Argentinian, like high-rated Argentinian players you can use. For example, I've got Lionel Messi. He'd be perfect to literally start in the team, right? Um, but if you got any other Argentinian players that, you know, you're going to use as a super sub to chuck them on the bench, then go for it. Because remember, this team needs to be fully Argentinian, and that includes a bench. So for the bench, I've just gone and, and gone with the lower, lower to high. Um, this Premier League dude is probably actually worth a lot. So what I'll do with the bench is I'll just search Argentina any rarity and just do 300 coins max price and, and and buy them so you get that no worries now heading into the proper tips that will actually benefit you guys going into tip number one is going to be chemistry styles personally i think chem styles are very very op um especially when it comes to objectives like this when people are using you know in these friendly game modes i think they're really really overpowered let's take uh korea for example right now i know he is in foot free so i mean he's out of packs for the next few days or so um so i would 100% try and you know buy this card now when he's at like two and a half K or something because he'll only go up But as you can see um, by the way, I do have to mention I'm not sponsored by footbin I'm just using this app as it is a very good app to use and it is great for this example But as you can see with footbin you can see his in-game stats here But you can also see the different chem styles. Let's say we put a hunter on him It will show you what he looks like in game with a hunter. He goes to 95 pace 90 shooting 95 finishing and as you can see here in game He goes to an 87 rated striker in game an 87 rated left wing chuck a marksman on him He goes to an 88 rated striker um, He gets a plus 8 shooting a plus 9 dribbling and a plus 6 physicality So the point is lads just chemistry styles can significantly make them better You don't have to go out and buy you know hunters and shadows because I know hunters are like 4,000 coins a pop and shadows are 5,000 coins a pop but if you've got like some hawks in your club I know hawks at hawk chemistry styles uh, they give a plus 5 shooting a plus 7 plus 8 shooting or sorry no a plus 5 pace a plus 7 or 8 shooting and like a plus 6 uh, physical as well and they cost 400 coins and that extra little chemistry style boost that you will have well, genuinely, you know, it could be the difference sometimes. It will make your players feel a whole lot better in game. For example, for your centre mid, you could go for like a powerhouse on the board or something, and he'll do the job absolutely wonderful. Tip number three, lads, this is going to be up to you guys, but it is going to be golden goal. A lot of you guys will know what the golden goal rule is, and if you don't, let me just explain. Essentially, if you concede the first goal, you're going to pause and quit and just get into the next game. Um, and if you, you score the first goal, you've got to hope your opponent, if he's also doing golden goal, he will pause and do the exact same essentially the, the main objective of golden goal is if you just you know first goal wins essentially um you can get literally like six or seven games done in the time it would usually take to complete one game now this is you know up to you guys you do not have to do golden goal by any means and if your opponent's not doing golden goal don't expect everyone to but if you are someone that wants to do golden goal my number one tip for that is make your team name golden goal because when you load into the you know into the friendly and your opponent, you know, you see your opponent's team, your opponent will see your team, he'll see your team name, which mine is Golden Goal, and he'll be like, okay, this dude's doing Golden Goal, and you go from there. Whether or not he wants to do Golden Goal, that's completely up to him. Um, but obviously, yeah, if you score first, he might quit. If you concede first, then you could quit and get into the next one. Lads, this is a team we've gone with. Um, just to go over the two tips, uh, is a chemistry style, or three tips technically. Make sure the bench is all Argentinian, chemistry styles, and golden goal if you do want to. Now, just heading over to the objectives again, just to, you know, confirm that this will work all good. Um, so, right, where, where's the objective? Just go down a little bit. We'll get the Everton done next as well. But as you can see, score 15 goals with, a, with players from Argentina. That's in separate matches, so obviously you might want to stay a few matches to get those goals. Assist three goals with crosses, which, I mean, is relatively simple. It's just going to be square on the PlayStation and X with the Xbox. That is why I've gone for a wide formation as well with 4-4-2 because 
because you've got that right mid and left mid to cross it into your strikers. Score in eight separate matches in a live foot friendly. I don't have to, I don't have to save it in the live foot friendly part, but score in eight separate matches and win four matches. So it looks simple enough with these. Genuinely, you just want to score goals and try get crosses with your right mid and left mid. Lads, hope you guys did enjoy. I mean, it doesn't have to be of your right mid and left mid, right? It can be with anyone, but right mid and left mid makes sense as they are like playing as a as a winger role, if you will. Nonetheless, boys, looks like a really good card. Uh, as I said, I, I personally think the one that has extra dribbling is probably going to be the best bet. If you guys did enjoy it, until next time, see you later.